Hi, I just wanted to explain something to everyone regarding various synchronization methods. I have a Roland VS2000. This one is the master. I have another VS2000. This one is the slave. And I have a 1880, VS1880, which is the slave. And for demonstration purposes, I have my MPC 4000 as a slave as well. As you zoom into the screen here, you'll see that this is set to um, zero. You have to look at the timeline under now under the now line, right? And on this one, it's the same thing. On this one, same thing. And on this one, it's the same, right? I am going to press play on this. And what happens is they all start to play, right? They all start to play. And then I'm going to stop. Boom. Okay. So to show you that these things, how well they sync. Okay, so we're at like 9 seconds. So it's 9, 5, 80, 7, 4, 278, right? On this one, same thing. 9, 5, 80, 7, 4, 278. On this one, same thing. The only difference is we're not seeing the ticks. 9, 5, 80. And on this one, okay. Now, the thing is, the now line, as you see, is slightly different. The timing is slightly different as well. But it's close. Now, Here's the explanation for all of this and how we would have gotten this one better. But for now, we're not really worried about that. We're worried about these, but I'll explain why that one's off. The reason why that one's not the same is that one's not. I have it set for um, in the sync screen. I'm clicking window, this yellow button here. As you can see, I have the mode off, so there's no like MIDI sync right now. It's just syncing via MIDI machine control, right? That's it. It's on. But I, haven't, I didn't sync it in any other way. Whereas with these three machines, they're syncing digitally. Okay. So we have various methods of synchronization, right? Digital that are all happening and some of them are happening at the same time. You have your digital, your MIDI machine control, MIDI clock, MTC, some machines have SMPTE and you know you can also use a word clock. Now here's before I get fully into this let me just explain. Okay, so let me show you this map. So the Master VS, this one right now has the digital in lock on right so in other words when I show you its screen and I go to utility digital in out parameters digital in that's the in lock so it's locked into it's locked into whatever's coming into its digital in port on the back there's a digital in out in the back of this right so there's also, it could have been on internal, but the problem is then it would be going off its own clock, right? It wouldn't be locking to something else. An external time, time code is the same thing. You're sending a time signal from something else. You have to make sure that this digital copy protect is off, okay? It's the same thing in this one up here. Going to utility, digital in-out parameter, same thing, right? The other parameters that we have to think about, just while I'm here, are the MIDI parameters and the sync parameters. MIDI parameter, MMC mode is set to slave, right? The through, the MIDI out port is set to through. It's receiving sysx, right? And it's not transmitting. Okay, everything else is off, except for local control switch because we want to be able to control the buttons and the faders and the knobs 
on this machine. Okay? Now, sync parameter. This is for MIDI sync. So, right in here we have sync track. You could have off sync track. It's like M MIDI clock or MTC. Right? right now we have it on sync track. Now, why is this relevant? Because it could be on MIDI. What I found is that it could be on MIDI clock. It doesn't really matter. What happens is it's all because everything has its, is set to a tempo map. Here's the tempo map. 180 BPM. Right? in the first measure and the second measure. You can just leave it like this if you know it's going to be the same all the way through. You don't have to, but if you want to change the measures up, I mean change the timing up, you can. So, what I've just shown you are how they're synced together. I didn't show you that in this one. Hold on. This one's set to MMC Master, right? And this, the SysX Receive is off. But the SysX transmit is on. And if we go into sync parameters, you'll see it's set to MIDI clock and it's internal, right? Which was the same as that one. Which is the same as this one. Right? So, what exactly is happening? We're going digital out from this to digital in of this digital out from this to digital in of this. There's no digital response going to this one. Thus, this one's just going on its just own timing. Right? And since I turned the MIDI off, it's not going to, it's not syncing to anything. It's just like, the only thing it's syncing to is the MIDI machine control. Me pressing play, and then this one going. Now, had I set this one's MIDI clock right right in here I could turn that and it'll show you the different like there's off MIDI clock MTC MIDI time code right and SMPTE but I left it off now the thing is these machines supposedly don't sync to each other via MIDI clock. They only sync to each other with they okay, they sync to each other with MTC. MIDI time code, right? And MIDI clock is good for it to send out information so that other things can clock to it. There are many reasons why you'd want to do that, but in any case what I need to tell you is that MIDI clock links to this this um the now line the the song position pointer and what happens is when you set it up properly when you create a tempo track a tempo map what happens is these increments end up moving in the distant in the increments of the tempo and you can therefore turn this and move in increments of the beat so you can move like one, two, three, four, and find different spots in the song. I actually prefer using MIDI clock and the tempo map. So what I did was I set this one to be 180 BPM, this one to be 180 BPM, and this one as well. I'm just going to show you the tempo map. Go on to rhythm track, tempo map, there it is. All you have to do is set the two. So. I'm not sure if I already showed you that, but anyway. So, digital out. So this one is actually the one setting the timing for everything. The VS1880. Going digital in, this one set to in lock, digitally. And then this one's digital out is going into this one's digital in. Right? The beauty of the system is that the in, the digital in and the digital out are not somehow stuck together. It's like you, it can allow stuff to come in on the digital in and then um, it has nothing, it, whatever sounds you have coming out of this, it, like the bearing is I guess minimal because what ends up happening is whatever comes, whatever fader movements you make or track alignments or whatnot, as it goes out of it, and comes into this one then it just 
it's on its own. So even though the digital in lock is set one way, the digital out is its own and it goes into the other one. As long as you have the other one locked, it works. And that keeps all your timing the same, which is the beautiful thing. So, and the reason why you have to set the digital one is because and they must have thought about this when they made it, that there might be people who want to piece two of these machines together. And the thing is, you're not going to want to... If you, you could use MTC if you wanted to, to make them all link together. But, I mean, there's just other means to do it. You can just use the song position pointer if you want, which is what I do. So, it works. What can I say? And when you want to... Output when you want it to sync things together with um, MIDI clock. I mean, you can. I could sync this to this, and then the timing would have been perfect. You would have seen like the numbers on the MPC be exact. So, just for reference, like these little maps VS2000 is the MMC Master MIDI Machine Control Master. So, I press play on it, and it makes everything else play. It's connected by MIDI to this one which is this one's connected by MIDI this one's connected so we're going MIDI out to MIDI in MIDI through to MIDI in MIDI out to MPC's MIDI in and that's just for the MIDI machine control right okay now the fact that they're all running on their own MIDI clocks or sync tracks. MIDI clock deals with tempo maps, sync track, song position pointer, right? We're not talking about MTC, which is frame rates and offsets. The fact that these are all, the fact that they're the same machines, what's happening is they're locked. Because I have the tempo map set, they will, their tempo maps will lock in as well as the sound coming in. So there's the sound timing clock that's coming out into the digital port. And tell me if I'm wrong, because at least that's the way I'm understanding it. And then there's the, you know, the other characteristics, which are going by MIDI, which is the sync track. Okay, I think I explained it all. And with the digital, you have internal and external. And these are the things you have to be aware of when using these machines and syncing them together. Peace.